Hey, this is Taylor from Nuts of Bold Speech, and with part two of this Gantt chart series, turning Excel data like this into a full-fledged visual graphic and PowerPoint, this time using the Office Timeline Editor that I highly recommend checking out, which would otherwise take you how long? 30 minutes if you're fast, maybe an hour, maybe two? Well, in this video, I'll prove to you that you can build this entire graphic out in less than 30 seconds. That's 24 times faster than I showed you how to do in the last video. That's the power of having a dedicated add-in like Office Timeline, and why I highly recommend checking it out if you need to present lots of Gantt charts like this in PowerPoint. If you want a cheat sheet of all these steps plus the shortcuts, click the link beneath this video. And here in Excel, I have all of the information for my Project Monkey timeline that I want to build a Gantt chart for in PowerPoint. And this time, because I'm using the Office Timeline add-in, I'm going to Alt-Tab over to PowerPoint and start here. Once you've installed the add-in, you'll have a tab up in your ribbon. Just look in the description box for a link to the add-in. I'm going to select New on the far left. I'm going to get a wizard, and I'm just going to select the Metro style to get started. And I'm immediately taking to the Enter Milestones part of the wizard. So I'm going to Alt-Tab back to Excel. That was the milestone section, so I'm going to grab my milestones. And notice I can grab both my date and description. I couldn't do this in the previous video. I'll control C to copy, alt tab back to PowerPoint. Now, right here, you want to be careful. You don't want to just click into the title and hit control V to paste. That's going to mess this up, so I'm going to delete that. Instead, you want to use the paste icon in the upper right hand corner. Select the paste icon. All of my information is added to the wizard. I can change the theme colors. I can have a date icon drop down. I can change the shapes, etc. I'm just going to click to the next window, which is the tasks window. So I'm going to alt tab back to Excel. I'm going to grab the start date, end date, and description. So all three columns, the wizard can take it all. Control-C to copy. I'll Alt-Tab back to the wizard. Again, don't paste into the title icon here. That's going to mess you up. Use the paste icon in the upper right-hand corner. Again, you've got colors. You've got dates. You can change all sorts of things. Add percentages complete. I'm going to click to the next window where I have even more formatting options. For now, I'm just going to click OK. The add-in goes to work, and boom, there is my Gantt chart from the Excel data here in PowerPoint, the only thing, I'm going to close this, I, this task pane over on the right, the only thing you'll need to do from here is come to the Home tab, apply your layout. I'm going to choose the title with footer layout. Here's where I would type my Project Monkey, and I'm good to go. And again, keep in mind, this is not a picture of a Gantt chart graphic. This is actual individual PowerPoint objects that I can edit, format, position, do anything I want with, and the add-in keeps track of it for me. And I'll show you some cool hacks for working with the add-in in the next video. Now, just to prove that this can be done in less than 30 seconds, I'm going to start a timer and go. Tab, New, Metro, Alt-Tab to Excel, Control-C to Copy, Alt-Tab, Paste, Next, Alt-Tab, grab the next set. I grab some extra stuff, Paste, I'll delete that out, click OK. The add-in goes to work, and boom, there's the add-in. Again, if I even add some extra time, I'll come up, put my timeline, Title, Project, Monkey, and I am done. Now from here, there's a ton of both macro and micro level formatting that you can automatically apply to your graphic entirely within the add-in itself, and I'll show you how to do that in the next video, including how to instantly flip your graphic back into a PowerPoint table so that you can incorporate it into your layout, which might look something like this. But for now, just appreciate that using the Office Timeline add-in was 24 times faster than I showed you how to do in the last video, which is amazing, and why we're giving it our speed trading stamp of approval. If you build lots of Gantt charts and timelines like this, I can't think of a faster way to build, edit, and manage your timelines. Just know that to paste from Excel to PowerPoint and use the formatting features that I'll show you in the next video, you do need the paid version of the add-in, but it'll more than pay for itself in time savings with the very first graphic you build with it. For links to the Office Timeline add-in and or a cheat sheet of the steps and shortcuts covered here, click the link below in the description box. This is Taylor from Nuts Bolt Speed Training, and I'll see you at happy hour. I would need to somehow get an object over here to the left, which takes a little bit of time. Well, not with the office timeline added because all of the information is packed within the graphic. I can quickly make some formatting adjustments just up in my ribbon. So for example, if I want to split my date, I can just come up to the office timeline tab, come to the date drop.